I remember it like it was any other insomnia-filled night. It was near midnight, and I was having trouble sleeping. I thought I would treat myself better, however, rather than trying to futilely fight it in the bed, and that I would just get up and try to relax and watch some nice videos online. I'd prepared some tea and got some crappy bakery item, and then I went onto YouTube. At first I thought I would watch some stuff I hadn't seen in a while as a trip back, but I decided to check my subscription tab first to see if anything interesting was uploaded. I noticed that Jack and Lev had uploaded, which was kind of unusual for this hour, unless they were doing a live stream. But I figured they were probably just busy earlier and only now just got to upload. The thumbnail was a typical MSN paint drawing of the two. However, the title was just entitled a special episode. And there was also no time set for how long the video was. I clicked on it to see what this was. The screen started out black and I could overhear Jack talking. He was explaining that sadly the series will have to take a temporary end and that Lev is moving so they won't be able to record anymore. I was a bit sad, but I thought it would be for the best if this is what had to happen. After explaining it, Lev said in his usual monotone voice, Yeah, Jack has me tied up here. I'm scared. Jack then replied with his usual goofy voice, going like, Yeah, I'm never letting you leave, Lev. I figured this was just a little joke. However, the screen was no longer black, and we cut to a live-action shot of both Jack and Lev sitting there, and Lev actually was tied up. Jack then said, I'm never gonna let you leave, Lev. I'm gonna take you through all of the special worlds we've all visited together, and showing you why you have to stay here forever. A big portal then suddenly warped in and zoomed out the entire screen. Jack and Lev were gone, and the whole entire room was consumed by the spirally portal. After that, we then appeared in what looked like the Barnyard video game. It was just open wasteland at first, no characters, no nothing. But then I saw Love appear in the game as if he were the player character. I was very confused, but continued watching anyways, because what else am I going to do? Love then started to run around. He went down the dirt path, entered the entrance to the barnyard. There was nobody there except you could hear crying coming from somewhere. Love went to investigate where it was coming from. And then he saw Otis sitting down in a fetal position near the barn, his back turned to him. Otis was very sad and crying. When Love tried talking to him, Otis cried for a bit more and then said, He took everybody. He killed them all. And then Love was like, What do you mean? And then he turned around and he saw that the sky was suddenly being taken over by Spongebob's giant face. His mouth opened up, and you could faintly see Jack's head inside his mouth, his eyes glowing red now. He said, See, Lev, I'm never going to let you leave here. Look at all the great memories we've all made, us and the viewers. SpongeBob's giant head then made a maniacal laugh. It was very deep and booming and vibrated the whole world. Otis screamed and covered his ears and started to panic and run around. A giant fireball then came off Spongebob's mouth and blew up the entire area of the barnyard. The screen went black again for a little bit. After that, Lev appeared again alright. But this time he was in what looked like Al's toy barn from Toy Story 2. It was a Dark, most likely after closing hours. Love was alone in the store. He wandered around for a bit. After seeing absolutely nothing, he could then could start hearing Jack's poor Al impersonation over the loudspeaker. He always loved to quote the end of Toy Story 2. 
See, love, our memories are worth more than a book, book, book. Love started to get a bit angry. He's like, this isn't funny, Jack. Open up the door. Love was pounding on the employee's only door that would most likely lead to the speaker room. Love managed to break the door open. He walked through. And then he appeared in the cul-de-sac from Ed, Ed and Eddie. However, not like in the original show, it was the ugly 3D version from the Misadventures game. He immediately saw Eddie running around rather than being alone this time, but Eddie was running around super fast in a circle and spouting out random one-liners. Eddie then jumped up and he stretched out his lips and gave Love a little kiss on the forehead and yelled money and then ran off. Love was a bit distraught, but he didn't really care compared to everything else that was happening. He went down the streets, and then he saw a giant plank go up in the sky just like Spongebob from earlier. Plank's eyes start to turn red and bleed out hyperrealistic blood hyperrealistically, and then they fell out completely. However, Jack was in one hole, and Al in the chicken suit was in the other hole crying. He was crying out hyperrealistic blood, and his eyes were completely black. He kept crying and crying and crying. And he was like, this is all buck, buck, buck. And then Otis popped out from behind Al and started to put his shoulder over him and cry with him, sharing their sadness. However, Otis's voice was very deep and loud, and his cries just sounded like moans, like, ooh. And he was also missing most of his skin. Jack was in the other eye hole looking at it with a nice sly smile. He's like, see, Lev, look at all of the friends we made along of the way. You can't leave this all behind for some job. Lev just looked up and shaked his head a bit. Fine, Lev, if this is how you want it, then I guess I'll have to go even further beyond. The world starts to shatter and crumble before them. There was complete blackness, and then what looked like the swirly portal from earlier, and that enveloped the whole screen. And then a void appeared inside some room that was seemingly located absolutely nowhere and everywhere at the same time. Left was on this giant brown thing that looked like the top of a chocolate ice cream cone. Uh, for the camera then panned out. Love looking down and realizing that he was on top of a giant version of Jimmy Neutron's head. Love had to be thrown off and lighted in front of it. Jack came, but this time he was a giant weird tentacle Cthulhu monster with these big red black hyperrealistic eyes. He said, see Love, we can never let you go. And then Love said, Jack, this is enough. I have to go control all of this. You cannot stop me from what I'm doing. Lev then grabbed a controller that was always there before, and then he started to control the giant Jimmy Neutron head. The giant Jimmy Neutron head starts to spin around really fast in place, and it yelled, Brain Blast! And then its mouth opened up and it started puking out a giant blast of blood while spinning around. It hit the monstrous Jack in the face. It seemed that the Jack was defeated. And Lev was free to go. Jack was crying, Lev, no. We can't let you go. And then Lev went over to a computer that was nearby and unplugged it symbolically. The screen went blank as if you turned off an old TV. However, what came next was the most horrific refuel I was not expecting at all. It ruined my night. Over the darkness, I could faintly hear Lawrence. 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 What? The screen then flashed to show the Family Guy household living room. And Peter was speaking to his wife, Lois. Lois, remember the time Jack and Lev was a thing? 
Peter, I told you not to watch these weird underrated YouTube channels. Oh, but Lois, you had to just see it. They're like Oni Plays, but a bit more tame. It's just two people quoting Toy Story 2 the whole time, and the fans yelling at them to play Barnyard or whatever other game they want. Peter, I'm trying to serve you iced tea. The baby then walked in and went like, What is going on here? And then he looked out the window and yelled, Ooh, is that monstrous Jack Tentacle Monster pulling through? And then Peter said, Stewie, remember the time that you thought we were in a cutaway gag, but then it turned out that was a cutaway gag? And then Stewie panicked and yelled, Ooh, and then his head exploded. Peter then started to talk normally and made a really weak joke and farted. He then made a soon-to-be-outdated pop culture reference. It was... I was shaking. I couldn't even think clearly. Life cannot truly just be one big family guy cutaway gag, could it? Was I in a cutaway gag? Was Jack and Love ever real? Am I real? Is this video real? Not even the video I watched, this video that's going on right now? This creepypasta? Peter then looked over to the camera, at me, at us, and said, Don't you remember the time? His eye then briefly turned red, the same red that Jack's eye was like, and then he winked, and then the video ended. I didn't really want to go to bed afterwards, but I was tired, so I did it. Just remember, if something must end for the better, then maybe it should.